Folks, this is week nine of the Sampler Spree Slow Along hosted by me, Nicole Gilbert of Nicole Gilbert Quilts. And in this video, we are doing block number 31 called Lightning Strikes, and it can be found on page 32 of Susan Aki's phenomenal book, Sampler Spree. If you haven't yet joined the Sew Along or you just want to grab a copy of the book, go ahead and follow those links in the description below. So, in this video, we're doing lightning strikes, and the technique used for lightning strikes is stitch and flip corners. And uh, we've done stitch and flip corners quite a few times, so if you've been with me since the beginning, you're probably pretty comfortable with stitch and flip corners. However, if you've jumped, just jumped in, or you just need a bit of a refresher, I do have a link to a video in the description below where I really dive in deep to making stitch and flips so that you can be super successful. Um, so go ahead and check that out if you do need to, that's totally fine. But since a lot of you have been here since the beginning uh, and for the sake of this video, I am going to just assume that you have done the stitch and flips confidently on your own. So once your stitch and flips are done, this is a super straightforward block to piece. You are just gonna lay it out in rotating order. And we're gonna stitch all these rows together and then we're gonna sti stitch each segment together to create a row. And then once we've created four rows, we're gonna stitch the four rows together. Super easy. So now that we have our four rows, I'm gonna sew these two rows together and these two rows together. Again, we're just maximizing our time at the sewing machine so that we can be a little bit more efficient in our construction. when sewing the rows together is that when you got to the central seam here um, it was kind of no joke uh, even your very powerful machines may have a little stutter or you may have to just guide or lift your foot a little in order to get it through and that's because there's a lot of seams coming together at that point this is one of the reasons why I think it is incredibly useful to press all of our seams open throughout this entire quilt that we're doing. Um, there's a lot of seams, they're coming from all directions, and with this many different block constructions where the seams aren't gonna naturally nest, this is your friend, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. Pressing your seams open will be your friend. So now, we've got these two segments, we're just gonna sew these right together and your lightning strikes block will be complete. Okay, folks, here you go. And I have not trimmed this block down yet because I wanted to show you that sometimes things get a little wonky on the edges and that's okay. But I will be trimming this down to six and a half inches. Uh, there you have it, guys. This is Lightning Strikes. This is a super fun, super fast block to put together. Um, and I think it's, it's a great kind of cleanser after some of the more difficult blocks that we have just tackled. 
I cannot wait to see what yours look like, please go ahead and use the hashtag sampler spree slow along so that I can see what you're working on or just go ahead and post those pictures in our private Facebook group. Okay, folks, I will see you in the next video.